Hey guys, it's Jordan from Guns and Cars. Today we're gonna work on the Mustang today. I'm gonna just uh, do a quick wax and cleaning without water. I'm gonna use this new solution they got that it's uh, supposed to be kind of like a quick wax um, spray on type of deal. And um, we're gonna clean this Mustang off. Uh, it's got lots of dirt and debris. And uh, I'll show you the car real quick. As you can see, the car is pretty filthy. Uh, I kind of just wanted to see if this stuff would work. Um, really, I mean, I would think an actual car wash would be the best way to go, but uh, I've been hearing good things about these quick wax things, so um, I just want to give it a try and see all this dirt, dirt rain spots. I can't stand the car being dirty. It just looks so ugly. Look at the hood. All that is caked on there. So, and I've, it's only been like maybe a less than a week that I've washed the car, so I mean, it's just been raining on and off, and Texas weather is weird, man. You can't really prepare for it, you kind of just have to deal with it, but uh, I just want to show you guys what I'm working with today. Uh, I'm going to try this. Uh, what do we got? Locust Slick Mist Fast and Easy Speed Wax. Um, so it's a spray-on deal, and you just need some microfiber towels and uh, wipes to uh, get this crud off of there. I'm also going to use this um, uh, purple power to degrease it first I think and then on the uh, after that I'm gonna work on the interior I've also got this I've had very good luck with this it's a uh, armor all ultra shine protectant if you really want like a really high shine that lasts a long time this is the stuff to, to go with guys um, I'm a big fan of this I've been using it a lot and it doesn't take much like you can just need a couple of dabs of this this uh, this type of liquid on your plastics and stuff and it'll really shine it up real good so you just gotta wipe it it's right on there wipe it a few times and it sticks for a long time so I'm very happy about that alright guys let's get to work alright first up the purple power so let's just spray a few coats of this not coats uh, <laughs> a few sprays of this all over the place kinda break down some of this dirt and uh, we'll go from there we'll wipe it off and see what the re end result is I'll go ahead and do that and show you guys what the end result once I'm done. This should help a lot. Now, the Lucas, as you can see, the purple power broke down most of that crud off of there, and it looks a lot better already. So let's see what the final final look would be with the, uh, the Lucas Slick Mist Speed Flex. All right, we're just gonna spray this all over. I'm just gonna do not too many sprays but it's enough to coat the surface here all right so we're gonna uh, let that dry for a second and then we'll wipe it it's already working it's magic it looks way shinier way cleaner already it's breaking down the extra crud that was on there and if you guys want been wondering uh, what kind of wipes or towels that I've been using to uh, wipe this off with I, I got this handy microfiber uh, it's like a hand mitt thing I've never seen that and it's really helping a lot which man this wipes it way better than a little microfiber towel because this thing actually sticks to your hand and it doesn't move. So it's just less effort altogether. So let me guys show you that real quick. All right, here we go. So we're just gonna wipe this and rub it, rub the compound around. Kinda like little circles, I suppose. And it's working, it's really working. It's already looking way better than it was. Breaking it down, and it's hot out here, so this stuff is kind of drying. So I'm not really sure if that's a good or bad thing. I just don't want the like water streaks on here. That's what I'm afraid of. But uh, I'm gonna try to do this quickly so it's not like that anymore. I like this mitt, man. It really works good. Way less effort than a towel that moves all over the place it does. I may spray another round of that Lucas spray because it does look a little bit water streaky. I'm not sure if that's me or the product or what, but I mean, it looks okay from afar, but I can see that it looks a little dry and streaky, as you can see. Um, I'm gonna spray some more on there and see if that helps. All right, guys, I just did a second round on the uh, Lucas spray here. Um, it does look a lot better, definitely a lot shinier, but 
It still the, has those streaks that I don't like. Like it looks dirty still under the paint. I mean, uh, on the surface. So I'm guessing like a lot of that dirty rain droplets that were on the car kind of just mixed in with this stuff. So perhaps a actual, at least rinse off would be best from what I can tell, like just water, clean water, get all that soot off of there and uh, start with that stuff. That would probably be the best way to go. Even on this side, it's got streaks. Um, I guess I'll try the, the last part of the car, the other half, and see if it's any better. Or I might spray a little extra of that royal, uh, that purple uh, power. I'll do a, a lot more, and then uh, I'll show you the end results on that. And we'll try it one more round, and if it doesn't work, then it could be user, it could be user error, but unlikely if it's supposed to be like a universal thing for everyone. Um, but, uh, we'll try it and I'll show you the end result. All right, from here, I did the half of this roof here. Still got the streaks. So, yeah, guys, I think my hypothesis is correct. Um, this stuff is really just to be used for in a pinch time or your car is partially clean already. Like maybe a light rain. You want to just, you don't really want to take your car to the car wash. It will probably work that, like, like that, but that it's got dirty rain all over this car and it's thick it's mostly mixed with soot um it's you know as you can see it's this will work like it looks clean i guess from afar at least clean enough but once you get closer you're like man someone did a horrible wax job on this <laughs> but uh let me show you the last side and we'll be done with it well there you have it guys i guess uh that really sums it up this stuff is not as good as I thought it would be. It kind of is just a quick wax. Like, you can't replace a car wash, really. It looks like with the product in a bottle, you know. Um, here's the finished products. I mean, it looks all right from afar, but it's just those streaks. Once you get real close, you can see there's a streak right there. And it just doesn't look professionally done. I guess that's the best way to say it. Uh, I'm no means a professional to begin with, but... For an $11 bottle, I kind of was expecting a little bit better, I suppose. But, uh, yeah, guys. Um, let's move on to the interior and work from there. I'll show you the magic that this bottle can do. I know that one's good, at least. Alright, here we go. Oh, yeah. I love this interior, man. So retro and modern at the same time. I'm planning to uh, upgrade my radio. I want a touchscreen. Maybe like a big 10-inch or 7-inch touchscreen that has Apple CarPlay and all that but uh, yeah so let me just show you on the dash we'll shine up the dash maybe the horn area here door panels I usually just do the front area cabin area uh, the most I don't worry about the back seat too much right now got junk back there but uh, let's get started on that so first we got our microfiber towel um, it's not really exactly the cleanest I know but it should do the trick anyways this stuff is pretty strong so it shouldn't matter so I guess we'll start with this door. So we just want to do a couple streaks like that. It's already kind of like a like a goop, goop, goopiness. So we'll go ahead and spray this area. Let's try not to get the speaker. And we'll shine up all this plastic and we'll just rub it in. And I can still see the old shine that was on here, so it's gonna really be hard to tell the new stuff, but you can kind of see actually. See it's uh like here's a spot that's kind of dry compared to here. You can see there's a shine already. This stuff works pretty good. I would definitely recommend you buying this Armor All Ultra Shine Protectant. Man, that stuff works good. If you're looking for that showroom clean look and shine, that's definitely the way to go. Don't spend your money on stuff that doesn't work. I would definitely recommend that product right there at least. All right, so. I like the way this is looking. It was already shined up to begin with, so I didn't have to put too much effort on it. So we're going to go ahead and move on to the steering wheel and dash area now. Alright. So, um, first I kind of just start around the horn area a little bit. Uh, my side of the dash. Maybe the plastics here. It's mostly, this stuff works best on plastics, from what I can see. Not, uh, maybe a little bit of rubber. 
but metal, bare metal, you won't be able to see any shine. I mean, I just put a couple goops here and there, and uh, maybe here on the floorboard area. So let's just go ahead and wipe this down. You can see the shine already. Look at that. That will do the outside here. All right, here we go. That, 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 that. And we'll move on to this next side. All right, same thing as before. We're gonna start with this side on the door. Just get all this plastic here. Just get all the trim areas here. This side of the trim. And I'll show you the finished result. All right, guys, the next thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna shine up these floorboard uh, plates that are on the side of the door. This ain't Mustang, and this is the passenger side fuse box um, trim. So I'm going to shine these up. I wanted it to look a lot better and cleaner. So I'm going to go ahead and shine those up. As you can see, it looks a lot more shiny, a lot more clean. Let's see what it looks like on the car. All right, guys, here's the complete finished product of the car. You guys let me know in the comments what you think. Here's the floor, floorboard panel things. Got it shined up. Dash is shined up. Car is shined up. Let's take a look over here. Okay. Not too bad, not too bad. You guys let me know in the comments what I could could have did different. Here's the doors, here's up here, here's the inside, and here's the... Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe, and we'll see you on the next one.